Okay, welcome to the clone talk video for the special effect. Uh, for this video, you're going to shoot a very short scene of yourself, of you talking to yourself. Um, don't have to be elaborate because we just want to get the hang of using the special effect. In your next video, you can do something a little more elaborate with it. So the first thing you're going to do is if you look at my timeline here, you see the timeline that I use for my um, video, is you're going to shoot yourself twice. Um, basically, so you're going to have to act both. You know, you're going to have to play the part of both characters, and to to make the illusion work, you have to use a tripod. That's like key. So you're going to set your tripod up once. You're going to get it into a place that you have a nice, you know, frame shot for both both um, parts. And then, as an actor in this, you're going to have to remember, like, at some point in the room, you're going to split it. And like for me, I kind of had a natural split point at the edge of that sofa. So I knew as an actor here, I could not cross over. And as when I was playing this role, I couldn't cross over that line as well. Because that line is what's going to, um, we're going to split each, basically we're going to split each clip in half to allow them to, to piece together like that. So let me show you how you do that. Um, when I do this, you'll see it pretty easily. Right now I have myself in, in the black jacket on top. And if you click on this explanation point, that solos the track. So basically it mutes everything else, and you can see that track. And when I do that, you see what happened is I basically cut everything on the left of this track out. And so it's completely clear and transparent, which allows the track below it here, I'll unmute that, to show up in its place. So that's the essence of the whole effect is you, you cut this one in half, and you cut the other one in half, and then you put the two together. Um, and if you notice carefully here. I even I had to draw the line down a little bit because when I had them up it wasn't matching. I'm not sure if you can see that video but the one on the right was just a little bit lighter um, and it shouldn't really happen that way but maybe it's just because of the way I was standing and the, and the camera was on auto um, shut, you know, shutter so it, it may have just opened the iris up a little bit by itself so I had to turn it down just a little bit to blend it nice. Um, so how do you do that effect? Let me show you real quick. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, when you first put the original clip in, come to the event pan crop, open that up, Let me get that over so you can see it, and then you want to, this is the key part here, the source stretch to fill frame, you want to say no, do not stretch to fill frame, to fill frame. and then when you grab that, you're able to just cut that thing right in half and it won't squish it all up or whatever the line you want to be. So I'm going to do it right to there. And then you can see the effect was back here. I cut cut it in half. Perfect. And then you're going to take the other clip but down below, and you're going to cut the other half off, and you're going to match them up and get as close as you can so it'll be perfectly there. And that's why the key is that it's a tripod. You have to be using the tripod. And you have to shoot both scenes with the tripod, and you can't um, move it at all. So you don't even want to press stop. In other words, when you're over here, you deliver your first lines as like your clone number one. When you finish, just keep the camera rolling, don't touch it, and then come over to the other side of the room and then deliver your lines there. And a little tip when you del deliver your lines, have your camera person read the lines back to you, you know, play the role of the second clone. Otherwise, the timing is really hard to anticipate the timing. So you should write your script out, just have a few lines, doesn't have to be long, and then you're going to um, have your camera person so I'll say this line and the camera person said it back and then I'll say my next line the camera person says it back and then I say my last line then I'll stop and then I'll just I won't stop recording but I'll just get up and come over here and I'll do the same thing back so that's what you see here the last tip I want to show you is since you have the camera person talking you have to kill that audio out and some of you will do is you'll split the clip you'll hit that and you'll hit the S and you'll split it but a better way to do it is to use the audio envelopes and I'll show you that over here on this clip. The audio envelope, you click on the um, track first and you come to the insert audio envelopes and volume and I already have mine on and that blue line will show up and basically it allows you to drop anchor points and once you drop these points you can pull the levels way down or up if you wanted to. Um, that way you can there you go. So as the audio is going, it's normal, it's normal, normal. Then I get to this part where the camera person is talking, boom, I kill the audio out, and then I turn it back on again over here. So you'll have to do that for um, both your tracks. And it's a lot better than sp constantly splitting the video up into pieces. The last thing I had to do uh, that you may have to do is I didn't, my, 
for the second lines, I didn't have a partner to read my lines to me, so I was just kind of doing it by anticipation, kind of in my mind, and I was off a little bit. So I had to actually go in and split this clip, and you can see these squiggly lines, that's slow motion. If you don't know how to do slow motion, you hold down the control key, and you get right to the end of a clip, and you can grab on it, and it'll slow mo it out. So I had to actually slow motion my clip a little bit um, when I wasn't talking, just to um, make it catch up, make it kind of flow naturally in my conversation because I didn't do a good job of timing it. So definitely you want to have your, t your cameraman do that for you. So I think that should be it. You should be good to go. Remember the key is the tr tripod. Put it into position. Don't cross the line. Don't touch the, tr the um, camera. You know, start recording. Record both parts all at once, and then you'll edit it up later over uh, basically over four tracks. Um, and then muting your audio out as necessary. So have some fun with it. Come up with a good little scene, but you know the key thing is the special effect, and just spend a few days and get this thing done. Render it out.